Yeah, and I then, mean, our, our goal is like basically to uh, do something that uh, it, you know to it, have it have it be sort of interesting, fun, and, and ultimately useful, um, and to spur uh, uh, creative ideas for what is actually the smartest way mm -hmm. to take the trillions of tons of carbon that we we've removed from the ground and will remove from the ground mm -hmm. um, from deep deep underground, and 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 we've we've placed that carbon in the atmosphere and oceans. Um, which obviously changes the, the chemical constituency of the surface of the earth. Yeah. Um, and since we know that uh, long term, we're going to have to have renewable energy anyway, um, uh, because we'll, we'll run out of oil and gas. It's not going to last forever. Um, so we know, we know where this ends up. This has to end up with uh, renewable, sustainable energy. Um, it's tautological. Um, it's really just a question of do we try to get there sooner or later? Um, you know, and, and we should just try to get there sooner. It's yeah. uh, obvious. Why run the, why run the, ex uh, how long do you want to run this experiment? And then we've got, t tomorrow we've got the, uh, our third astronaut launch to yeah, the this, station. Before we dive into the, to the carbon removal uh, rules and so forth. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's obviously a bit of a dichotomy because our rockets do produce carbon, you know. Uh, yeah, true. And like, oh, what a hypocrite. You know? True, no, no, uh, we, uh, we got he's obviously <laughs> just, he's obviously just in for the money. Um, but, <laughs> but let's talk about let's talk about the crew two crew two mission. I feel I should address this. this right. Aren't you being a hypocrite by launching rockets that, that produce carbon? Uh, it, the, here's the problem is uh, right now there is there's really no way to get around the physics of a rocket. So uh, I think it's important for the long term uh, preserva preservation and and ultimately the expansion and extension of the, the, the scope and scale of consciousness uh, and the long term. Uh, probably a survival of humanity and life as we know it, we must become a multi-planet species. Uh, because there are all these, you know, there's uh, been many civilizations that have risen and fallen, and anyway, we've we got to preserve, uh, we've got to become multi-planetary, and, and right now the only way to do that is with, um, with, with rockets that uh, do burn fuel. Um, but we do have a long-term plan for sustainability of, um, of even rocket flights uh, by uh, generating uh, propellant uh, using um, sustainable energy, wind and solar, mm -hmm. uh, to generate, starting first with uh, liquid oxygen. Um, and for our Starship vehicle, uh, it's uh, almost 80% liquid oxygen yeah. uh, and 20% um, uh, uh, liquid methane. Um, and um, the oxygen, it's obviously pretty easy to create that. Uh, you just use um, wind and solar electricity and, um, and you do air, air separator, because you've got the oxygen already in the air, the plants are making the oxygen. Um, so you can use just you can just use electricity, basically renewable electricity, to create 80% of the propellant on the rocket, and then for the remaining 20%, uh, you can use the Sabatier process, where you take you actually take CO2 out of the atmosphere, and you combine that with water to create CH4 and, and more O2. Yep. Um, and that's and that's in fact what we would do on Mars. Sure. To generate propellant. Sure. So 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 there is a long-term plan for sustainable generation of propellant uh, for the rockets. I do want to emphasize that. Fifty tons of now we're, now we're talking a real space program. Yeah. Let's go to uh, let's go to the questions on on the uh, carbon removal prize. We'll be going to your questions at in Twitter in about about twenty minutes, fifteen twenty minutes. So Elon, this is the largest prize ever, ever, uh, largest incentive prize ever, and I would argue for one of the most largest civ uh, civilization scale challenges we have. Sure. And uh, we can get into the rules in a second, so that folks who are looking at creating teams can understand why uh, why we created those rules. But why did you fund this? Let's start with the, the why there. Yeah, I think um, I, I wanted to spur ideas and thinking about uh, the long-term need to um, capture carbon. Um, and uh, you know, I think this is one of those things that's gonna take a while to figure out what the right solution is. Mm -hmm. um, and especially to figure out what, what the best economics are for, uh, for CO2 removal. Um, and, uh, and, and, and all the th think through all the consequences. You don't want the cure to be worse than the disease. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, sometimes people say, well, just plant a bunch of trees. I'm like, that's not so easy, you know? Like, like a trillion trees. Sure, exactly. And then you gotta like, okay, well, how, you need to get fertilizer, you're gonna water them, where's the water gonna come from? Uh, what habitat are you potentially destroying where the t trees used to be? It's, it's, not, it's not just a no-brainer of just go plant, plant a bunch and, of trees. But it's not to say that's um, not a good, viable option. We should plant some trees. Yeah. I, I, I'm in favor of planting trees. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's just not a question of like, okay, the, the, um, you know, there are like vast sections of like, say, like the Sahara Desert or, or um, uh, the, you know, the, some large barren areas, very dry areas in the U.S. Um, 
where you couldn't plant a lot of trees, but you're going to need a lot of water. Yeah. And you're going to need like like cult, you're going to have to cultivate them. It's not like a, they don't just throw some seeds on the ground. You know? <laughs> um, uh, and their team work really well together. So the first thing is that for a team to win this, and we'll talk about the prize amounts yeah. and so forth, they've got to actually build something that works yeah. and demonstrate something that can extract a thousand tons per year, a kiloton of carbon per year as a demo scale model. And that what comes out of it is something that um, uh, matters to the future. Um, so that, that's, the, that's the goal to be clear. Um, and so if people have, you know, uh, ideas for adjusting the rules, um, yeah, we're going out as guidelines, yeah. and uh, we're going to have, I think, till mid-May for get public feedback, tell yeah. us if we miss something. Right. We will turn them from guidelines to rules once we get really feedback. And we've gone out to so many of the amazing climate scientists out there. Yeah. And it's, yeah, unless the rules need to, need to be valid uh, for, the, for the four years of this prize duration. Yeah, so we're but, now teleported to Andromeda. So and I'm like, uh, but it doesn't actually work. You so know? to win this prize... Uh, a team actually during the four years has to build something that can at minimum pull out uh, a thousand tons of carbon per year yeah. so that they can show us that do they have to do, 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 do they have to pull out a thousand tons or just show that the rate it works no they have to pull out like a literal thousand tons we weigh it we're g- <laughs> <laughs> not a scale uh, and we're gonna we're gonna like you know they, maybe oh. we can calculate it to okay. be a thousand tons okay. but the rate at which <laughs> yes they'll have to run it for a year to get a thousand tons out but the, well, they have well, to have maybe a if they run it for a month that's okay uh, probably it's okay okay, okay. all right um, <laughs> it's very hard to make something real I mean, in, in, in my view prototypes are trivial and production is hard. Yeah. Um, and there's the, in the, the, the general, um, generally people think it's the prototype that is the hard thing. Prototypes are, well, I, I mean, obviously you're gonna have that 1% of inspiration, but as the saying goes, it's 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. Yeah. Um, ideas are plentiful, actually getting it done is very hard. You could say fully considered cost actually just means that if there are, um, you wanna look at both the benefits and the, the, the cost actually. So if, uh, if in, um, sequestering carbon, removing it from the uh, atmosphere or oceans, uh, uh, has, has some, uh, perhaps some environmental impact, uh, which might be small, but it's not negative. Mm-hmm. That certainly needs to be taken yeah. into account. Um, and, uh, uh, and then by the same token, if uh, what's done is in, in extracting carbon is uh, a useful product sure. that from which you can generate revenue, then that should count too. All right. So. I don't know, I'm just sort of saying for, for argument's sake, like let's say uh, you could create, um, you know, um, construction, ma- construction <laughs> material, like, you know. Um, uh, cement. Cement, yes. uh, yeah, exactly. Which we cement, just, I'll talk about that later. Or some kind of or, yeah. or useful rocks mm-hmm. that are, rocks that are useful, or s- s- sand, or I don't know. Yeah. Um, something that's uh, useful for construction. Um, then uh, you could say, okay, well, this is what we could sell it for. And, uh, you know, and, and then and just fully consider pros and cons, and 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 say, okay, this is what, you know, if if um, if we need to pay to have it done in the future, which we probably will have to do, then um, what's the what's the lowest net cost? Yeah. And and to be clear, the the working teams, the, what they do has to be net negative, right? It's not yeah. a break even. It's not pulling out a thousand tons and then. Emit a thousand tons. And in fact, one of the things no, we no, talked okay, about. Absolutely. <laughs> one of the things we <laughs> obviously. Talk, <laughs> yeah. One of the things we talked about sure, is it can't how, be worse than the disease. Yes. How <laughs> how long do you need to sequester the carbon for us? We had a big debate. You want to share what you came up with there? What the team well, came up just with? Well, the, the 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 rate of carbon um, sequestering needs to far exceed the rate at which say it is uh, potentially dissolving back into the atmosphere. Yeah. Um, so, um, you know, like if, if uh, yeah. Um. And so one of the rules is that you have to be able to, and the hardest thing is that the winning team has to prove to our judges that their approach can actually scale to a gigaton level. Otherwise, yeah. it's not going to be useful. Right. Exactly. It can't, it can't be niche. Yeah. It can't be inherently niche. And if anybody knows about scaling up, I, th- I think yeah. you do. Uh, yeah, scale up. scaling is hard. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I, I don't know what the answer is here, really. Um, but I think if, if a lot of smart people work on this, w- w- there could be some really creative solutions. Something generally useful for the world in, yeah, in that regard. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
Yeah, and I think just to be clear, like we're looking for pragmatic solutions. It doesn't need to be perfect, um, you know. It's, but it's, it's got to be something that's just fundamentally, if we scaled it up, would it would it work? And yeah, that's it. <laughs> so let's talk about the prizes that are up for grabs. Um, first place is going to be fifty million. Yeah, uh, which is significant. Our, our hope is that it's going to attract enough cognitive surplus out there to focus in on this. Yeah, um, thirty million. For, uh, split between sort of a second, third, and fourth place prize. And one of the things that uh, you and your team put forward is maybe it might be split into different categories, sure. right? Uh, different approaches. Yeah, I, I mean, we want to reward people who have done great work. Yeah. Uh, fun, fundamentally. I'm, I'm open to increasing the prize size too over time. So if it turns out like, hey, somebody really, really kicked ass and, and, uh, and somehow there's not a prize for them, we'll, I'll add some more to the prize. That's, that's extraordinary. Yeah. 